the very first thing that you need to learn is what is plane what is the difference between plane and a laminar okay now if we see this plane plane is a 2d figure with infinite length and width okay then let us see what is lamina lamina is lamina is a 2d plane figure with specific length and width now i'll just give an example for this let us say i have a paper okay i have now what is the uh, dimensions of a paper it is it is just a rectangle okay let us say it is a rectangle now on that rectangle you are drawing a triangle okay you are drawing a triangle so that triangle can be considered as a lamina and that paper can be considered as a plane okay so this is this is the basic difference between a plane and a lamina then next is uh, the different lamina that you need to draw so what we'll be doing first is a triangular lamina then a square or rectangular lamina third is a pentagonal lamina then fourth is a hexagonal lamina and then a circular lamina okay normally we call these as planes also so we'll be learning these how to draw the figures or the actual shapes of these planes okay so the very first plane that we need to draw is a triangle so how to draw a triangular plane now well, let us say my side is side of an equilateral triangle it is let us say it is 50 mm now how to draw that triangle just see first of all what we will do first of all we will draw a side equal to 50 mm like this let us say this is b and this is c okay then after this now the length of one side is equal to 50 mm like this now after this what we will do we will be opening our compass equal to 50 mm we'll keep i'll keep my compass here mark an arc like this i'll keep my compass here and mark an arc like this so i'll get this point okay now this point if i join it with b and c so it becomes point a now this is my equilateral triangle okay automatically its included angle it will be equal to 60 degree okay so this was all about how to draw an equilateral triangle then our next topic is how to find out the in included angle of a polygon okay so there is a formula for finding out the included angle of a polygon let's see Now what is that formula? It says that theta is equal to one eighty minus three sixty upon n. Now where n n is equal to number of sides of a polygon. this is very important you need to learn these and uh, this this formula because with respect to this formula we will be finding out the angles between the included or you can say the angle between the adjacent sides of a polygon let us say in case of a pentagon or in, in let us in case uh, say in case of a hexagon 
so with respect to this formula we will be finding out the included angle now what was the formula for finding out the included angle of a polygon it was theta is equal to 180 minus 360 upon n where n is equal to number of sides now let us say for a pentagon if i have a pentagon what will be my included angle it will be like it is theta is equal to 180 minus 360 upon 5 okay then it will be equal to 7 then 2 so it will automatically come equal to 108 degree so this is the included angle between adjacent sides of a pentagon then similarly if I have a hexagon let us say now here again theta is equal to 180 minus 360 upon number of sides are 6 so this will be 60 it becomes 120 so the included angle between the adjacent sides of a hexagon it will be equal to 120 degree so you should know this formula this is very important it comes under uh, the two marks questions also sometimes that specify the formula for finding out the included angle of a polygon Now after learning the different angles, included angles of a polygon, we will be learning how to draw these planes. Okay, so these are the true shapes of the planes. So if you know how to draw these shapes, then only you will be able to draw the projection of planes. So it is very important. Now, the very first... Uh, polygon for which we will be drawing the true shape is let it be a pentagon ok now let the side of one side of a pentagon it is a regular pentagon a regular pentagon let the side be equal to 30 mm let us suppose the side is equal to 30 mm so how we will be drawing this just see first of all we will be drawing a single line let it be it is 30 yes it will be equal to 30 While specifying the uh, this dimension, we will not be writing the units along with the, these dimensions. Okay. Now after this, we will be drawing two lines inclined at 108 degree to this line. Now one line I will be drawing in this direction. Let us say this angle is 108 degree. Okay. And other line I will be drawing in this direction. Okay, so the included angle between these lines it is 108 degree this is also 108 degree and this is also 108 degree okay so after this obviously these are also equal to 30 mm now i'll open my compass equal to 30 mm open my compass equal to 30 mm i'll keep it here mark an arc over here i'll keep it here mark an arc over here so we'll get this point okay so we just join the other two points with this point so 
it will be like this so like this you will get the true shape of a pentagon so this is the method how you have to draw a pentagon you can name it also let us say this is a this is b this is c this is d and this is e so this is the true shape of a pentagon then true shape of a hexagon again it is a regular hexagon a regular hexagon means all the sides of the hexagon are equal okay let one side be equal to 25 mm okay so now how i'll be drawing a hexagon just see just draw one side equal to 25 mm like this okay then draw two lines inclined at 120 degree to each other so theta here it was 120 degree so you from here you draw a line inclined at 120 degree and equal to 25 mm similarly from here also draw a line inclined at 1 uh, 120 degree it will be like this okay now let us mention the angles also this is 120 degree this is also 120 degree okay now after this what you need to do you just draw two vertical lines from this and this point like this now two vertical lines now open your compass equal to 25 mm this is 25 mm open it equal to 25 mm keep your compass here mark an arc over here this is 25 so this is 25 let us say this is it comes out to be here and here also from here also you draw again and now keep your keeping this as center so you will get the other two points okay let us name these point let us say this is a this is b this is c this is d this is e and this is f okay so these this is the method to draw a hexagon after this we will be drawing a circle now obviously if the circle is there obviously it can be drawn with the help of a compass only okay but for the sake of drawing the projections what we do we divide the circle into number of equal parts okay so that will be learning today just see let us say this is a circle let the diameter of the circle equal to be equal to 50 mm similarly i am drawing one more circle like this of same diam diameter now i'll be dividing this circle into eight equal parts similarly i'll be dividing this circle into 12 equal parts so how to divide into these equal parts just see first of all just draw one horizontal and one vertical line like this okay now after this we'll be drawing the angle bisector okay so you just keep your compass here 
and open it more than half. Let us say this is half and more than half. Mark an arc like this. Similarly, keep it here. Mark an arc like this. On the other side also, you keep it here. Mark an arc like this. Keep it here. Mark an arc like this. So now what you can do is you just keep your scale of the drafter. Let us say you keep it here and here, and you will be able to draw. this and again you keep it here and here you'll be able to draw this so this is how i'll be able to divide this circle into eight equal parts okay i can name these also let us say this is this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five this is six this is seven and this is eight so this is how I'll be dividing it into eight equal parts. Then let us come to twelve equal parts. Now here also again you just draw one horizontal line and one vertical line passing through the center. So obviously dividing it into four equal parts is quite easy. Now how to divide it into twelve equal parts? just understand this thing carefully open your compass equal to radius of circle okay now if diameter is 50 radius will be 25 so open your compass equal to 25 mm okay keep your compass here and mark an arc like this and similarly here also then again you keep your compass here mark an arc like here mark an arc here so now you keep your scale here and here so you will be able to draw this line and again you will be able to draw this line then you will be able to draw this line and you will be able to draw this line so like this you will be able to divide it into 12 equal parts now let us say I am again starting it from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 ok so this is how we will be dividing our circles into a number of equal parts. Okay. So these drawing these polygons it is very important because if you know how to draw these polygons then only you will be able to draw the projections. Okay. So if you do not know how to draw the actual views of these pentagon, hexagon then your triangles and all you will not be able to draw the actual uh, projection of planes ok so these are very important because although it seems to be very easy but they are you know as they are easy also these are important also